Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate, and I got another one for you. It's a little bit larger than the last one. Of course, I'm not sure what order they're coming out. This one comes in at 1,386 square foot. It is the model 2807, built by Valley Quality Homes here in Spokane, Washington. That is the name of the dealership and the name of the home. They do make their own homes. They are fully customizable, so if there's something you don't like in the home, talk to them about it. I'm sure they can probably make a change. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. Like I said, coming in at 1,386 square feet. Like I said, if you wanted to make this home a little bit larger, you probably could. You might be able to change things up a little bit as far as layout goes. So like I said, a lot of stuff on these homes is fully customizable. Just wanted to point out your back door right here. All right, so when we first come in, this is kind of the view you're going to see. But straight ahead of your front door is a coat closet. Of course, now this one is full of trim supplies. And I know some of you guys have probably been watching the videos and you see that the trim across the flooring is, you know, looks like the old trim, that kind of stuff. These have been show models that they've had for because they make their own homes. These show models they've had for quite a while. Like I said, they're fully customizable. You can, there's, I've seen the newer ones. They've got way updated trim packages that come with these. So keep that in mind when you're looking at some of these homes and you're thinking, God, they look dated, you know. Trust me, I've seen the, some of the newer models. I've got a couple of them that I've filmed. It may already be up on the channel. So just kind of look for those. With that said, I do really like the layouts that they do with their living room. You get that kind of little tip out right there, so to say, not really a tip out, but if you can see, it kind of comes down, gives you just that little extra space there. Looks really good. So our dining room area here is just right off your living room kitchen area. Decent sized dining room. I've done a model real similar to this and it had a sliding glass door right there. So I know you can get a sliding glass door over there. Now our kitchen has this great big, no island, but you've got this great big counter here. So it's nice to see, you know, even though you don't have an island, you've got plenty of counter space in here still. You've got lots of cabinets, drawers above all your doors. Now, as I said, I don't usually open a lot of the lower cabinets in the last one, so let's get a couple of these lower ones in. Just so you kind of get an idea of how deep they really go. And your upper ones are fully adjustable. As we're coming around the kitchen, we'll go ahead and check out the pantry here, which is your standard size walk-in corner pantry. Yep, she opens from this side. So we've got our Lazy Susan in the corner. So we've got a whole lot of cupboard space in here. Nice stack of drawers right there. And of course all your doors have a 
drawer above them also. Now this home has the basic GE white appliances. Of course you can always upgrade to different appliances if you wanted to. They just put the basic package in here to, for show. And our utility room has access to your bathroom through that door there. But, you know, you've got this great big cabinet space over here in your utility room. So perfect for storing all your blankets and things like that. Full size washer and dryer, of course. We've got our electrical box over there. And as I've stated in previous videos, you know, these guys always think about a place to put a freezer. So you could put a, either a chest freezer or a stand up freezer right there in the corner. There's even a plug for it. Now let's go to this end of the home and check out the kids' rooms. We'll start with the bathroom, of course, since we're going right by it. Now this is a standard bathroom that I've seen in a lot of their homes where you got the sink on this side with that pass-through door coming right off your utility room, the medicine cabinet, and hello Raiden. And then on the back side is where your toilet and shower tub combo are located. And both these bedrooms overall are about the same square footage just slightly different layout with the way the bedrooms, the doors are and where you come in at. And you get nice deep closets in this one. So you actually have to kind of walk in almost to be able to reach the rack there. And this one, of course, notch area right there where you come in at, that's the closet from your other bedroom. Let's see if this one is just as deep as the previous one. Nope, this one's a little bit shallower. Of course, there and there's your water heater access. So now if you wanted to, like I said, these are customizable homes. If you wanted to add a little bit more space to this bedroom, you could make this closet, as you can see just how deep it is, you could make it a little bit shallower so it's not quite so deep and about the same as this closet that was in this bedroom, and give yourself a little bit more bedroom space. And with that, we got to come down here and check out the master bedroom. And you get a great big window in here. And that is just one big long closet. So as you can see, let me open this other door here for you. We'll let the light in over here. So now you can see it runs all the way down there. And in our master bathroom we've got a nice set of cabinets in here with a full set of drawers. Great big vanity mirror and the medicine cabinet over there. Don't really need to show it. We already looked at the other one. It's identical.
whole lot of lights up above you there. Now in this one, see how online is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> see if I can find the picture for you. You can get the larger tub and go all the way across and change your bathroom layout a little bit or you can keep that tub and change your shower and come out this way with the shower and have a big walk-in tile shower. Hopefully I explained that good enough, but anyway. So there's a few options that you can do with this bathroom to kind of change it up a little bit and make it fit what you want. And here we've got our more linen area here back in the back. And with that, which style of bathroom would you want in there? Leave me a comment down below. Or what else would you like to add to the home? What would you kind of like to see changed? While you're down there, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that it's gray, not red. Make sure the bell's turned on. That way you get notified on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload videos. Well, thanks for watching. I know you all enjoyed this one. You had to have. Yeah, because, I mean, it's 1,300 square foot is what you guys have been asking for. Yeah, I know. You all been asking for the smaller, more affordable homes. So, so I came back here to where I'm at, here in uh, Valley Quality Homes. All their homes are a lot more affordable than some of the other manufacturers because they design them themselves, they build them themselves, they don't have as much overhead. And if you've noticed, all their homes are empty as far as decoration goes. That's by design to help cut down the overhead. So they can offer you these better prices. Coming in right at about $158,000. Keep in mind that prices change. They could go up, they could go down. Most likely with lumber getting ready to crash and a whole bunch of other stuff getting ready to crash, these prices are probably going to come down a little bit soon. So keep that in mind and also depending on, you know, where you have this home set up, there could be extra delivery fees, could be extra city and county regulation fees, that kind of stuff. But this was at time of filming in September of 2022. But I know you all like prices, so I wanted to make sure I get you the price on it. Just remember, it's probably going to change a little bit here before long. With that, I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.